happening as far as 2016 is concerned. It sort of looks a bit... Well, it's not, it's not been a good start. I mean, we've seen markets selling off and it's been all around the world, uh, NZX, ASX, Asia, North America, Europe, everybody's gone sort of, it's time to rush for the exit. It's picked up a bit of late, but the indications are that there's a lot of nervousness out there. And I think as we were just saying a few seconds ago, I think everybody shares that right now. All prices are dropping. Well, the payout's down everywhere is sort of in the commodity space. I mean, oil, 30. I saw the guy, I was talking about Davos, the, 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 asking people, what's oil price going to be this year? 35, 40, 15. You know, that's, that's, that's a big range. And at less than 20, it's, you know, we'd never thought we'd see it again. So you're not putting a hold of the money into the futures market? I, I don't you? think it's a good place to be at the moment. <laughs> in, fact, in fact, if you've got cash, that's the, one of the big problems. Which asset class do you go for right now? Nobody really knows. And it's because there isn't a consensus bet, that sort of tends to build up that uncertainty. US dollar, what sort of influence does that have? Well, it's nice for me. It's nice for the manufacturers who are exporting. <coughs> I mean, in mid-60s compared to two years ago, which was high 80s, yeah. that's a big, big difference. And, and a couple of my businesses have had a bit of a slowdown because of the, the way the world is right now over the past six, nine months. But revenues are up because the dollar's down compared to the US dollar. So it's an ill wind. Mm. But that, that issue about the currency for exporters is really making most exporters who are in US feeling pretty good. Australia's not so hot at the high 90s. It's not a good return out of Australia. But certainly into the US, we are much happier. So that leads us into New Zealand. How's New Zealand looking? Soft, worried. I'm going to um, throw myself um, underneath the cobble well, now, I'm just doing it. <laughs> but, but, but that said, it, there's, still, <clears throat> there's still a lot of bright spots. I mean, it, it, the fact is, the export sector is doing better because of the weaker currency. Um, there's still the issues around drought, still the issues of soft dairy commodities. These are things that we have to deal with in the economy. And there's nothing you can do about that. You just because we're in a world market. Well, what you do is focus on your costs. I think what we said. I think we, a year ago we were saying sell the toys, pull the belts in, because that's that's the reality of soft markets. The only thing you can <clears throat> the only thing you can do is focus on your costs. Now that I guess goes straight back to the Reserve Government, the Reserve Bank again, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Well, you know, we had the cut before Christmas. Um, and the pick now is that there's a lot of, of growth of pressure for more cuts and we'll probably see no change on Thursday this week. Um, but I think there is downward pricing on interest rates for lower for longer. I think that's where that, that would be my bet right now. Um, we've seen some change internationally moving away from the reliance on monetary policy normalization in the US that's pressure in Europe it's pressure in development markets and here um, downward downward pressure makes sense it makes sense in terms of the cross in the into Australia again for exporters TPP is going to be signed here next month yep TPP <laughs> it's the one hand and the other hand on balance if we can make sure we manage the potential downsides around intellectual property and paying more for drugs, open trade is generally better for New Zealand. And certainly for my interest, it's, let's, let's get the tariffs down wherever they are. I mean, you, are you surprised that there are people protesting in streets? And... There, 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 is that, there is that underpinning worry about sovereignty. So if governments, let's say that the one that's often talked about is the plain packaging for cigarettes. So if government decides that we can only have plain packaging on cigarettes and me, I'm all for plain packaging on cigarettes and tripling the price. But, you know, here we go. Uh, but but the, fact, the fact is, if there's a health <clears throat> message there and an elected government makes that determination, should they be subject to being sued by a tobacco company 
for infringing intellectual property because I can't put my brand on the cigarettes. Uh, mm. You know, there's, there's, there's some issues there and in the rounds of, of uh, medicines and uh, drug treatments, if the price goes up as a result of a different IP enforcement regime, do we, do we really want to go, for, go there? That's, they, they are the questions that Those people are, are talking questions. about. Yeah, exactly. Europe, because you and I have discussed before about the refugees and goodness knows what's happening over there. We, is that settled down? No, I, that, that is really, really putting pressure on Europe. Remember, inside the Schengen zone, Europe was borderless. You could go anywhere once you'd crossed in from outside. You could wander anywhere in Europe you liked. We're now talking about national borders going up again, control points right through Europe. This is, this is the sort of European project feeling a lot of pressure right now. And China slowing down. Well, China's part of that global slowdown. And, and if China stops spending and China stops pushing money out into the world, that's a big issue for Australia. It's stopped buying iron ore. And, and the, the, the boats that were sort <coughs> of constantly steaming between North Australia and China are slowing right down. And so, so that, those issues, that, that, that demand coming out of the global market, is part of this commodity sell-down. And Greece. We haven't talked about Greece for a while. Well, Greece is suffering a fair bit too. It's, it's so that demonstration of austerity politics. You're not getting any more money. Uh, I've heard comments that say, well, if Greece had been fixed up three or four years ago, it might have cost 50 billion. Now you're not going to get much change from five, ten times that amount. And so, so that, that problem of, of <clears throat> debt to GDP, if you start to control government surpluses, move them to deficits, moving them back into surplus, that takes money out of the economy. So the economy slows, so debt to GDP ratios go up and you just get deeper and deeper into debt. And we're not broken that bad here at all, John. No, no, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed.